Good afternoon, fellow Plexers. Today we're going to try to help out Mark in one of the Plex server support groups on Facebook. He's having issues with um, multi-part episodes in one file scanning properly. So, when I first started to dig into this a little while ago, I thought maybe his file names were too far out of compliance. So this is an example of how he's naming his media. He's not using the space-space -space separator that Plex shows in every written example for a TV show library. But that ended up being a red herring and wasn't what's going on. So let's give the answer first before I demonstrate the proof. So Plex has a server update out. I've updated my main server and the test server on my older Synology NAS, but I have not updated the test server on my newer Synology NAS. So let's look at the server update. So fixes, multi-episode files will only retain one of the episodes. It must be a bug that a recent server update inserted into Plex server, and it's nothing I've been aware of. So my setup is this. I've created a TV9 non-compliant folder on both servers, both test servers, and we'll add libraries for both servers to see if we can recreate Mark's issue on the server with the older Plex update versus the server with a newer update. And these are identical file structures. So this, this is all public domain media and I just adjusted file names to make multi-part episodes in Mark's style. No official separator like I normally use. So it's just um, the first episode through the fourth episode and then these are two-part episodes and it's repeated on this other folder structure too. And then what I did is I took the Lucy show and I made these episodes non-compliant by using 1x01, 01, etc. instead of the normal convention. Now this, this is a common file bot bug if you're using the default Plex binding. It's easy to fix, but on the initial ins install, it'll name this way instead of the correct way. So this will also prove that the latest library scanners are pretty decent. So let me bring in the server that's not updated. This is on my newer Synology NAS. So if I go into the settings, we'll see that the server needs an update for this one. So let's change, oh, we are on that. Let's go to libraries. And I'm going to add this library two different ways. So the first way is just standard episode ordering from the movie database. We'll add it again with the other option, which is how I normally set up a series library. So I go to the advanced options and I always change episode ordering to the TVDB because my normal FileBot expression that I use instead of FileBot's default options names to the TVDB. All right, so let's see what happened. Let's go into this show. And we're missing the first episode from every show. So if we look at our file names, we'll be missing 1, 15, 17, 19, 21, and 23. We're missing one, we're missing 15, 
Yeah, we're missing all of them. 23's missing, 19's missing, 17's missing. So this is a recreation of Mark's problem. So now let's try the TVDB scan, see if that's a match. Again, we're missing one. We're missing 15, 17, 19, 21, and 23. So we've recreated Mark's issue. So now let's change servers to the updated one. And you can see this has the new server version. So let's create the two test libraries again. And I have the container set up a little differently, so slightly different library structure to get to the same folder. And again, we'll leave the movie database for episode ordering. And now we'll add the one for TVDB episode ordering. And that's the only change I make for a TV show library. And again, because file bot names from this database for all my media. Okay, the moment of truth. Let's see if we have those missing episodes. There's one, there's 15, 17, 19, 21, and 23. And now we're going into the second library with, with media pulled from, um, or naming pulled from TVDB. And we have one, we have 15, 17, 19, 21, 23. So now let's take the extra step and see if a server update will solve our issues by simply rescanning the library or by um, refreshing metadata. So this is a Docker server install. All right, so this server is done. It, it's the one that needs the update. The other one's busy. So let me bring Portainer in. All right, it already opened up. And I don't talk about all the Docker containers. No, oh, I'm on the wrong NAS. All right, it's opened off screen so I can sign in. So I don't talk about all the containers I run, but obviously you can see what I run here. So let's go to this test server, stop the container. And while I'm waiting for it to stop, we'll just see that, you know, I run things that you guys might run, but things that I don't talk about on my YouTube channel. All right, where are we? All right, we stopped. So we will recreate and pull the new image. So I've shown these before. You kind of see what I play around with. And let's show that the server has stopped. It's unavailable. And it takes two or three minutes for the image to pull and start back up. So I don't know when this bug was introduced I only have split episodes in one file, well actually multiple episodes in one file in my kids TV show library and I imagine that maybe some of that got goofed up but I've already updated my regular server to the new update so I'll have to check to see if that library needs any metadata refresh. 
because I do have occasional automatic refreshes of my metadata set up. All right, so let's refresh this. All right, so Plex is running healthy. And let's go into those libraries. All right, so my older Synology NAS is still detecting intros. So let's start with this TVDB one. Let's just go back in, verify, wrong show. All right, so we're missing that. Let's just try a library scan. Nothing's going on, that didn't fix it. So let's go to the show level and refresh metadata. And that's not fixing the issue either. Right, I gotta be at the show level. Let's, let's empty the trash. Let's scan the library. It happens so quickly. It's still not fixed. So that was a quick metadata refresh and we still don't have it. So now let's try a Plex dance and see how that works. All right, so let me make sure I'm on the right server. Yep, the newer Synology NAS. So we're simply going to move the whole show folder out of the library. And this should rescan automatically. All right, so that TV show is gone. So even though my server set up to scan automatically, the Plex dance would be to scan library files. My trash is emptied automatically too, so you'd empty the trash. Then you'd go to your server settings and under troubleshooting, you would clean bundles. So then you simply move the media back in. And rescan. And again, this will scan automatically. All right, so. It's there, it's just doing its intro scans. And now if we go in, we see we have the missing episodes. So let's back up again, because this was only one test library. Let's go into the settings and find it this way. I'd have to do the same thing on the library setup pull and metadata. No, this this happened automatically too. I'm sorry, I removed the media and both libraries were pointing to the same media. So basically the Plex dance happened here too also. So no matter whether it's episode order from TMDB or TVDB, it's, an, it's affected and the simple server update won't fix it. A Plex dance has to be performed to fix it. So this was, this was kind of an exciting um, issue to troubleshoot. Normally I just start a video and I troubleshoot everything during the same video. But I had to stop um, and just figure out the issue and then make the video to demonstrate the issue. So Mark, I hope this helps you. And everybody else, thanks for watching. I appreciate everything and have a happy day. Happy plexing.